Hey everyone, MTash here, and today I wanted to talk about Toma. I made a video yesterday, kind of hyping them up, and I was like, oh, I see some potential here. Half the comments are like, Toma is trash. He's terrible. He's the worst character. Like, people are saying, skip. He's an instant skip. I'm actually shocked. I'm shocked. And I'm going to explain why people are saying that, and I'm going to explain why I'm in the other camp saying I think he's good. I understand why people are calling him trash, but I think that that's BS or a little bit of BS. So let's start off with why they're calling Toma bad. But first, today's sponsor. Did you know you can win a free Tesla Model S just from pre-registering for Ragnarok Origin? Ragnarok Origin is a brand new MMO coming out soon with some awesome RPG elements, tons of customization, whether it's your magic abilities, armor, or weapons, you can create a character that matches your playstyle taking your power to the next level by completing dungeons, overcoming world bosses, and battling your way through legendary arenas found in the dungeons of the kingdom. It's time to start a new adventure and become the hero you deserve to be. And it's free on your phone with the link down below. There's mounts, there's fishing, and a bunch of other activities to do whether you're playing solo or with friends. So pre-register now. Ragnarok Origin is right around the corner, launching November 10th, so make sure to click the link down below and pre-register. You can get a bunch of rewards here as well as a chance to win that Tesla. Don't miss out on this opportunity to get a boost starting the game out November 10th, and thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Click that link down below, get pre-registered, and let's get back into the content. When using Toma's abilities, right, he's got his Blazing Barrier, he's got an ultimate ability that sends out fire, the issue is the ICD, which is how frequently he's able to apply pyro, and then you can vape it off or melt it off. It's too slow. People complained about Yomiya because she has a similar situation. You're using someone like Xing Cho, you're trying to vaporize things off, but she can't apply the pyro fast enough. The same thing goes with him. If you're using Xing Cho or some other water characters and you're trying to get a whole bunch of uh, vaporizes, if you're using maybe even Ayaka and trying to get a whole bunch of melts, he can't keep up enough. And so what ends up happening is while using his attacks, he starts being the one that does the, the vaporizing or he does the melting. And that's where you run into the problem. Because if you're building this character uh, to scale off of HP and get really big shields, the damage isn't going to be there. It's just not going to be there. You're going to have some great shields, but if you're the one doing the vaporizes, instead of the other character, you're going to be crying a little bit, right? If you're using someone like Child and maybe trying to vaporize, all of a sudden you're going to be applying way too much Hydro to have uh, Toma keep up. And that's the problem. And that's why people are saying, this character is bad. This character is trash. And they're comparing this character to Xing Chou. Now, Xing Cho, with his E ability, it puts a ring of swords around you, and those, uh, on the initial hit, apply Hydro, and as you're standing beside things, apply Hydro. But then when you ultimate, it also continually, uh, continually applies Hydro with multiple swords hitting. And so, uh, you almost can't do enough <laughs> Pyro damage to deal with how much Hydro someone like Xing Cho is doing. And so, you compare those two things, and it's like, well, Toma is doing it at half the speed. And then you start comparing things like these multipliers, right? And that's the other reason why people are calling Toma trash. They're calling him terrible. Xin Cho is doing a double hit here with a three, uh, 357 and a 406 oh, yeah, multiplier, right? So look at that multiplier. And then let's go back over to our boy Toma. All right, he's got 278. Wah, wah. Pretty bad multiplier. Now, this is two levels lower, but that's like a third, right? That's a third of the percentage. So if you're building damage on him, that is a little bit scary. But he does have a shield that's scaling off your HP. It can stack multiple times, right? But then you look at this bad boy, okay? You've got your initial burst of skill, like of the skill, and then the fiery collapse. That's the area of effect fire attack that's going out. It's 93%, okay? And here's the other issue. You compare it to someone like Xing Cho. This is doing 115% per sword. And again, I'm level 13. This is level 8. So it's going to be much closer. Oh, yeah, the issue is 
at base constellation, I believe it's it's like three four three or something like that, or two three two. I, I don't remember what it is, but there's multiple swords going down. Like three of them are going down, so you're instantly tripling the damage. But if you have multiple constellations, I think it jumps up to like five on one of them, and so it's like <laughs> this huge burst of damage. You're doing like five times the amount of damage uh, over time. It's like two three five or three three five. Can't quite remember, but you have to multiply that by the amount of swords there are. And so, yes, if you compare Xing Chou to Toma, and you thought he was going to be the fire Xing Chou, like I did, I, I truly did think that, you might be let down. All right? You might, you might be let down. Oh, but the other thing, too, you have to remember is the artifacts that he has. He's got a Noblesse set here, right? If you look into the artifact details, he's not getting any pyro damage, right? And so you might have very, very, very different results when you use them. On top of that, for a weapon here, um, he's using Favonius Lance, which is cool for giving your team energy, but you could also use the Catch, which is going to give you a lot more damage, a, a very big boost of damage. And so I don't think that this test run is really fair. And I know that people have tested him. They haven't said he's amazing, but I don't think that this is going to be putting him in the, the best light. This isn't optimal. Now, that being said, those are the problems. That's why people are saying he's trash. There is no way you can call Toma trash. I would rather have Toma than so many other characters. And the more constellations you get, the better he gets. He has one of the best constellation synergies I've ever seen. And, uh, and I think he is valuable. And so if you're looking at looks, right? If you're looking at looks... You think he's really cool, that's awesome, and you want to go for him, it's not like you're picking a bad character, and I think that that narrative needs to start. I would say that, if anything, he's balanced. He brings some good stuff to the table, maybe he doesn't break the game, but if you picked up this character, you're a brand new player, you leveled up your Toma, and you used him, it's not like it's going to crush your account. It's not like it's a waste of resources. It's not like you leveled up Amber, right? So this is a 8-second shield duration, with a 15-second cooldown. So remember that. 8-second duration, 15-second cooldown. And this one is a 8-second duration and a 20-second cooldown. Now, the thing is, is these shields, they can uh, stack and refresh the duration. And so the duration isn't actually 8 seconds. When you're using these two together, you can keep stacking the shield and you can have a ton of uptime, almost 100% uptime. And when you get constellations, it becomes nutty. When a character protected by Toma's Blazing Barrier is attacked, it reduces the cooldown of the barrier or of the Blazing Blessing by three seconds and the burst uh, ability by three seconds. So you're bringing that down. You're making it easier to get that uptime on the shield. But look at this one. Now, the burst has a three second longer duration. So it's going from eight seconds to 11 seconds instantly. It's getting refreshed all the time and the cooldown's dropping. And then if you get the fourth one, using that burst is giving you 15 energy, allowing you to scale this. If you used Venti, maybe even Kazuha, but, but Venti with this character, you're getting energy from Venti. You're getting energy from popping your burst. If you had a C4 Toma, I think you would have so much energy, like you wouldn't even need energy recharge on this character. Almost, almost no energy recharge. You'd have so much energy coming in. Uh, and then you got this one here. When Blazing Barrier is obtained or refreshed, so you're getting cooldowns, duration, you're getting energy, and now just refreshing and using that shield all your party members, not just Toma, every single party member is getting increased normal, charged, and plunging damage. 15%. With those shields, I would just be able to, you know, hard scope a lane with my Ganyu, shielded by Toma, getting 15% more damage. Throw this on with Kazuha, plunging down and doing damage. There is a lot of potential here. And so I understand, I understand the internal cooldown or the ICD or whatever you want to call it issue. I understand the, um, you know, the, the base stats here. They're not great. Like, like, I honestly think that's pretty damn low, truly low. 
And, uh, and, and this one is not that impressive either, because considering it's only like one hit each time. But he can still shield the shit out of you. He can provide damage to your team. And obviously, I mean, I guess it should be said, if you want all that value, you need constellations. I get it. I get it. You need Constellation to have all that value, but I know a lot of you are freaking whales, and you're going to go for Hu Tao, and you're going to go for Sayu, and I know that you're, you know, maybe going to get a bunch of copies. The big question is, what about at C0? At C0, I understand people saying he's bad or underwhelming. You're not getting the cooldowns, you're not getting the energy, you're not getting the duration, you're not getting the bonus damage, and so then I would say, yeah, I got you. I got you. Toma is a little sussy baka. And so for a free-to-play player, is Toma going to change the game for you? Maybe not. And if you're comparing C0 Toma to C0 Xing Chou, right? I think Xing Chou slaps him around. And obviously, if you get Constellations, I think he continues to slap him around. And you know, you've got characters like Abedo. But even Beto, I think she gets a lot of her value from C2. A lot of these characters and supports that everyone talks about... They get a lot of their value from constellations. Every character gets value from constellations. Fischl gets value from constellations. Fischl's good, but when you get her constellation, she goes insane. And so it's really tough talking about that because it's going to depend on your account. If you've got a Fischl, if you've got a Kaya with some cracked constellations, right? If you've got a Beta with constellations, if you've got Shang Lei with constellations, maybe you have better characters already. It's not worth getting Toma. It's not worth building them out. Maybe you've got a, a Zhang Li. You want a shield? Zhang Li. You, you want a shield up? Here you go. You got, a, you got a crazy shield right here. It's obviously going to depend on your account, but I don't think Toma is terrible by any means. He's just not going to, you know, break the game as much as I thought. I thought he was going to be this guy mixed with this guy with a little bit of fire thrown in. That's what I was hoping for and expected, and I don't think it's going to work out quite that good. But, I mean, <laughs> then he'd be like a five-star unit. So, you know, maybe, maybe it makes sense. He's a four-star unit. Anyways, I just wanted to give you my overall thoughts on Toma. I know that it is a little bit bad news for players because maybe the hype is down because of that damage, but... He can keep your team alive, and I would rather have him than a lot of other four-star characters in the game. If they ever do an event where he's free, oh, we'll be laughing. We'll, we'll, we'll be cheering. But the other saving grace is he is on Hu Tao's banner. If you're looking for a DPS, if you're a newer player, Hu Tao is really good. If you get him as a Constellation Prize, um, you know, cool. That, that's, that's sweet. I guess it'll just depend what the other characters are on that banner. That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Those are my quick thoughts on Toma and if he's terrible. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure to sub for more. Make sure to check out MTash Clips. And I'll see you soon. Now I'm going to go pour some mayo on my ankle and see what the wife thinks. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.